awkward on your own all day with a set of headphones on and a microphone and uh, when the news comes on you rabbit back what people are saying plus punctuation plus pressing a button to change like the colour of the thing depending on who's speaking and uh, it's a strange sort of a thing because in order to convey normal language to actually try and voice recognition software which is what you use is, is well, what we used was crap, and so you had to have all of these strange diversionary tactics to try and make the normal thing come out. Um, uh, two of the things that they used were, there was one thing called house styles, where you would, if the thing responded badly to your accent, you would say, like, um, skull equals school, because, you know, if your pronunciation was such a way, it only really responded to Thames estuary accents, so, uh, <laughs> so if you're, in, or English accents in general, if you're English, you're generally okay, you you know, it'll more or less catch what you're saying, but if you're Australian, they have a, an office in Australia, so if you're Australian or Irish or Welsh or Scottish, you're fucked, <laughs> uh, and you have to find lots of ways to, to try and make it, get the thing right, and the other thing, the other way of doing that was something called macros, and so you would, um, if somebody had a strange name that didn't sound like it would come out, you would use something like man macro or man mac, and you would program the thing to and put the person's name in so that when you said this, that would come out, and it's, yeah, it's a very bizarre thing, and I wasn't very good at it, um, <laughs> so I made lots of mistakes, and my subtitling was cat, uh, but also, the, the other thing that I, I hated that because I'm a perfectionist and I hated that I, no matter how hard it worked, I was bad at it. But I also hated having other people's words put in my mouth. I hated just having to repeat back what somebody else was saying. And there were a couple of particularly egregious episodes of Reporting Scotland <laughs> that that happened in, um, which feature in the poem. And so this is a poem kind of imagining what would happen if you just said what you wanted as a subtitler, rather than saying what you're supposed to say. It's called The Subtitler Rebelled. What should now be on display? Sorry, I'm making a mess of this. That isn't what he said at all. For Fife, read Dufer Mac. For Witch, read Itchley Bridge. For Skill and Skull and Scale, read School. No, the writer of comics is not Kafka. The author of The Gruffalo is not to be recognised as Scotland's greatest living poet. I'd like to let you know that the sun glints meekly off the windows of endeavour where nothing is the thing we chose to long since pass the point of breaking rhythm. A rose is not a rose if by other name it chanced to become distinguished. I am forced handover, conduit closed. And the other thing you could get kicked off there if you didn't do it for those days. So uh, that's the last one. Um,